I'm waiting for this collab for the mids, man. Oh, we're gonna talk about mids on oh, somebody's mid. Mid. two episode no. ones. Mids. Somebody is going to collab. This is why I leave with a mid, <laughs> and then <laughs> I am my change off. the landscape. <laughs> on this episode of the Dad's Got Kicks podcast, we talk New Year's resolutions, Virgil's the 20, 2021 predictions, resellers, and more. Let's go. What up? What up? What up? Welcome to another episode another season of the dad's got kicks podcast i am your host esteban serrano and as always i'm joined by the two best co-hosts and almost matching denim jackets and backwards hats the splash uncles themselves efren and josh what up guys how y'all living man what's new just glad to be back. Glad to have this uh, crew together for our first episode of season two. Glad to have yes. the Splash Uncles back mm. with our BFF starter kits on. That's oh right, man. God. Right, Josh? Yeah. And when I saw you wearing that, I was like, man, it's back. We're back. Back <laughs> together. Like getting the gang back together. This wasn't even planned. No, not, not at all. At not all. Enough. I got I got to I got to I got to hope that that's not true. But anyway, all right. Well, you guys are not alone. We actually got the entire gang back together. I mean, and it's only right. right for our first pod of 2021. Makes sense. Well, we got the entire Dad's Got Kicks team back together. We got Sketch, we got Nick, we got Matt. How y'all living, man? Good, good. Living in color. And living color. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you All right, so look, we're do. we're fresh. We're almost a month in to 2021. You know, what's your copying been like? Is it is it is it easier? Is it more difficult? What are you noticing? What what what's the vibe and the energy so far of 2021? Hmm. The vibe and the energy. I'm going to say it's like a bit of a slow start. It's been a slow burn in the first few weeks. Not right. just with catching W's or L's, but just like not a whole lot of heat. That's, That's right. Great not point. a lot of heat. Not a lot of heat of the week. You know, nothing like that coming out. <laughs> there hasn't been one. <laughs> but it's funny because it's like been the slow burn. But like come February, March, it's just going to be crazy. Crazy. Be crazy. Like back no, to back to back to back. Just Those crazy. Those checks going to come out. <laughs> you got to start wow. seeing <laughs> <laughs> I got my stimmy ready. Is that what they're calling them now? The the sneaker stimmies? <laughs> Saw a video on YouTube today. I did not click on it, but I read the headline and it said top sneakers to invest your stimulus into. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> I know it's real. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know it's real. <laughs> you saving that six hundred for a couple of cops? My goodness. Sneakerhead definitely wrote that article. No, but listen, that's a good question for you guys right off the bat. Like if you got if you got that stimmy, is it better to go with a grail or are you getting like two, three, four, like just good pairs? Well, I haven't paid my electric yet because they said that yeah. it's not due until March of 2021. <laughs> so I'm gonna go yeah. with electricity on this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think at that point, go to Dad's anybody... Got Kicks and donate to this man. <laughs> hey, pal, I don't this need man that donation. Right right I just right ain't paid it. I like to see my money in my account. You know what I'm saying? Let it build, let it marinate. Sound like a Kevin Hart. Like the way that my bank account's set up. It's right. Yeah, but the student loan thing doesn't kick back in, I think, until like September now. So And I paid oh, them drones right off two years ago. I'm so oh. upset. Yeah, so for you guys, like, uh, well, you specifically, Matt, what are you dropping on your uh, your STEMI on in the footwear world? Oh, this is going straight to the seven savings. Oh, nice. Save that for the savings. That's it. I mean, I, I got to fall back anyway because last year I had a, a great year <laughs> of copping. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm and a, I'm a, a house that. is the best cop. Yeah. 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 Got a new house, got a new car. You know, Look over that shoulder, too. He's not hurting for sure. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> his, his, his feet are doing fine. <laughs> but um, there's, a, there's a couple of cops in February, like Josh said, that's coming out that's yeah. maybe on the radar. So hopefully... One of those would be a great pick, and hopefully my streak could keep going on on the sneak app and all these Man. other apps. Street so. Apple Pay. Come on, come on, come Apple on. Apple Pay, the plug. We, we, 
She wasn't supposed to say that no more. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a believer. Dang. Same. Um, always right. happens when you do try it for the first time and don't hit. I'll be like, nah, forget this. Look, I'm just glad that yeah. we have some heat coming up because given the beginning of this year, I'd have to start a new segment called Drop, Drop, Drop. <laughs> ain't been a single thing that I've loved. That's a fact. Um, and every time I see something fire that Nice Kicks posts, it's like, get ready for this March release. And I'm like, you know what made me wait that long? So we got the right. stimmy. We got the stimmy locked and loaded. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm looking far ahead, though. Like, I'm looking at the cool grays already that's dropping in December. So mm. that's on my, my I'm looking. I'm yeah. looking I'm looking far ahead right now. Holiday you know, 2021. 2021, cool gray's coming out. I was like, oh, yeah. Man, I have to just wait on those. Mm-hmm. All right, well, since we're in the, in, the, in the long view type of mode right now, let's talk about some uh, New Year's resolutions as it pertains to sneakers. I'm sure all of you have already broken your, your personal New Year's resolutions already. So... <laughs> What are some New Year's resolutions that you guys have for 2021? Efren, you start. I got two. Can nice. I two? All right. First one is sticking to a budget. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed that off. Yeah. Sorry. He got cue the laugh track. Right. right. <laughs> another thing is expanding outside of my usual go-tos. Mm. So AKA Jordan 1s? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe... I'll go for another Yeezy or two. Who knows? Yeah, Who knows? you did break out last that, year. That box needs like company over there. You see that? Yeah. yeah. You know, soul <laughs> boost over yeah, there. Man. Yeah. Single, so. singular box. <laughs> or, Matt, what about you? What's your resolution? It's no different from effort, you know. Try to like see if I could think outside the box and see what's, what other shoes are out there. You know what I'm saying? So I think gonna say if budget. I could see something that's more, yeah. <laughs> That budget's going to be, be a big factor this year. <laughs> you say budget, I was going to laugh. <laughs> that budget going to be a big factor. But um, I don't know. It just depends on what the sneaker market is looking like for everything that's dropping. So Word. I'm definitely not trying to go above, you know, 300 and something dollars for those sneakers no more. So unless I could. Yeah. So you're not going to get any sneakers at all this year. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, there's other sneakers. I'm not paying more than $100 for these sneakers. <laughs> Anything below 300, yeah. I mean, uh, above 300, I probably won't look at it unless I know for a fact that if I do get it, I can get it for a good price. Right. And I know I can sell it later on and down the line. So, yeah. plenty of sketchers yeah. to be had. Plenty of sketchers Dang. to be had. You can get some all black Air Forces, bro. <laughs> oh, man. That's some nice we, vans coming out. When, when you get some all black forces, nah. you you about to put in work. About to say, we're banking <laughs> yeah. or, or you belong to the streets, or you are <laughs> Well, let's talk to uh, the the one member of this group who definitely spent more than three hundred dollars on uh, retail, not resell. That is BB Sketch. Oh, hey. man. <laughs> 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 How many adapts are you going to buy this year? Be oh, oh man, Bro, those walking bombs. That king over here. Walking <laughs> bombs. I, I, I sold mine, man. I, I let my wife keep hers. I sold mine. So for the coming year, man, I'm I'm cleaning I'm cleaning the house. I'm cleaning the house. Mm. To wow. To be able to buy a house. So I'm I'm I got a bunch uh. of stuff in my closet that I haven't you know what I'm saying like been wear for a minute. So I think it's time for them. You know, for them things to go. I got LeBron watch on my on my radar this whole year. So Oof. we'll see what happens. I ain't gonna lie, LeBron is creeping up on me. Like I'm starting to look at LeBron's like, hmm, is it, maybe I should. He's maybe gonna maybe. chase down block on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So that's 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 what my mindset this year. Speaking so, of uh chase down block, let's definitely keep that in our minds for when we take L's on LeBron's. That should be definitely <laughs> made for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, believe it or not, his sizes be selling out quick now. Quicker yeah. than usual. So. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, he, he, he <laughs> no, it used to be the one, the one Very sneaker sad. you could depend on. Right. You know what I mean? Oh man, that not was, anymore. Yeah. The La Shelf. Hey, no, it got no sizes he said, anyway. Let me go. He said the La Shelfs. <laughs> the La Shelfs. Y'all see the uh, <laughs> y'all see the dude on Nice Kicks that he bought the Adapts and the LeBrons, and she like canceled the wrong order. Oh yeah! Oh, I she canceled the adapts. Man. He was trying to cancel the LeBron order, 
And she was like, oh, can you order them again? I was like, she don't know how the sneaker game works. <laughs> yeah. oh. Rookie luck and rookie That's mistake nice. all in the same swipe. Yeah, but Nike made Nike, it right, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. they sent him a pair. That was legit. That was oh, awesome. wow. They didn't send him a cease and desist letter. It was <laughs> <I know. laughs> a pair of sneakers. Shoot, I'm about to try my luck. Like, oh, man, she canceled my order. <laughs> right, I'm about to say, why don't we all do that? Not that right. <laughs> Nick, what's your resolution this year? Uh, mine is, um, I think probably to just invest more into trying to buy kicks that I actually like. I feel like this past year, mm. uh, there was a few wait, purchases. Wait, you've been I, doing it wrong all, all year? <laughs> I just been, I just been buying shoes that I hate. No. Uh, I mean, he I got know, those like, low concords. You remember? That's right. Yeah. And they couldn't sell them either. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Get the self We apart. all get one. Hey, all, everyone gets name. one, all right? Yeah. Everyone gets one. About. His wife said, they're worse than the bread fours, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. That was like my first hit, okay? You know, everybody remembers that first. Um, <laughs> no, <nah. laughs> nah, there was a... Uh, there was some uh, there were some <laughs> shoes that I think just had some hype, or either that, or I just got so desperate at taking so many L's that I was right. like, all right, screw it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for these kicks, mm-hmm. and I hit <laughs> on I hit on shoes that I didn't even really want. So I think this year I'm just gonna be more selective and just be like, yo, if this is the shoe I want, I'm gonna go for it. If I'm not really feeling it, I ain't better waste no money what, on it. Cause... What are your thoughts on the golf joints that you got? Um... Yo, I actually are they, are they comfy? Actually Did they help right your golf here. game at all? Oh, he's got him. He's got him. He's got yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know. Um, are you gonna buy more this year? Live unboxing right here. Yo, I think that's his goal this year. His goal is to get more sneakers than golf cleats. Wow. Yeah, you know. You can take so those you, off on the so bottom. You can take those off. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, you I can. Mean, yeah, you can unscrew. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you. So you got me better break my shoes already. Um, <laughs> No, nah, these are these are still clean. These are still in the box. I got the uh, I got the. I'll white give you a hundred for him. I'll give no, you ninety nine. Okay. Oh, I, g- I give them to you for for a hundred, and you pay for a round of golf for me. But uh, ah. no, nah, there's some there's some golf heat coming out. Military blue fours coming out in August. That's disrespectful. Yeah, you know, you already, you know. You already know what time it is. If we can uh, if we can unscrew the cleat part on that, we're gonna be rocking those everywhere. <laughs> you already know what time it is. It's tea time apparently. Uh, <laughs> you know, who, who's oh, that man. scraping on the concrete? Oh, that's the guy wearing the military force. <laughs> <again. laughs> <laughs> I'll be scuffing up carpets. Best believe it. sneak up on Yeah, right. Walking in people's houses, you see nothing but scuff marks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Get in my house. <laughs> who, who I, felt like, I felt like, uh, Nick, your, your New Year's resolution was going to be to actually have the best sneaker collection in the house. Because right now, your yeah, son. right now my son, Ooh, yeah. my son got me beat bad. It's not even, it's actually not even close. Um, and somebody, <laughs> somebody just bought him another pair of shoes. Um, you so gotta tell he, him like, yo, it's a, it's a, you gotta do a double package over here. Right, hello. There you go. There you go. You gotta get matching. I got, <laughs> I got them all. I got my shoes under his crib, and I got all his over on this side, and he is severely outnumbering me. <laughs> <laughs> well next time Man's someone cape. asks you like what size is your son i want to buy him sneakers you'd be like 12 men's <laughs> yeah 10 and a half adults what's up yo does he walk yet he don't even walk he don't even oh walk my yet. goodness actually no he does but um, he could dunk the, the shadow ones the shadow ones that uh mm. you guys blessed us with he, he rocks those Mm. clean they're still he he hasn't even creased him yet so he's a true sneakerhead <laughs> at heart already wow. he'd, be, he'd be reselling to other babies <laughs> yeah yeah he's on he's on uh on offer up just making a killing right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually paying for his own diapers oh, that's crazy. oh man i heard he was <laughs> doing the Dad, legit Dad, don't checks don't he's doing the legit checks for ebay right oh Nick? my yeah. god yeah. did we get there already he's got a plug Precious in the moment. ebay department yeah <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what's your uh your resolution? All right, my resolution is right now I have almost every at least one of every Jordan from one to fourteen, but I don't have any sevens right now. I don't have any eights. I want to complete the one through fourteen. So I need to pick up a seven. I need to pick up an eight that I actually like and want to wear. Right. Uh, in twenty twenty one, and uh, that means probably trying to pay a little bit more to get uh, a retro that that's wearable. You know. 
Or, Give it to you don't make anything good that's coming out in the yeah i have the infrared infrared twos okay so okay. so i just need a seven and an eight complete the set is there a seven you got the, you got the jordan card still on deck <laughs> no <laughs> i wish but no nah, there's not really any decent sevens and eights that i'm like oh that looks good right. but i would love to get the the seven olympics that mm, would be yes that would be dope that's let really me know if I you got, got a plug own. for that one yeah good yeah. price yeah We'll see if that stimmy check comes or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> S, you're up, man. Man, listen, as you can see from my image, orange is my favorite color. And this oh, yeah. year is so much orange. Already mm. we had yep. the, the what was, what was orange, Jordan. The 13s. Um, the yeah. 13s and the four. Yeah, I caught yeah. those, yeah. And then the Suns, the easy 700s. And then, the the, yeah, I let those go. Did but, you get them? Um, Did you get them? <laughs> I ain't going after that, man. <laughs> Them Johns are terrible. The big birds. <laughs> they, they were not terrible, bro. No, Stop. they were terrible. I no. tried hard to like them. I was really trying. And I love orange, too. I Dude, feel like you. here's the problem. Yeah. Here's where we start to see, you know, we got to remember that Kanye is a father. And you can tell what Kanye's watching with his kids by these colorways. He's watching <laughs> Big Bird <laughs> or Sesame Street. And then for his older kids, he's probably watching the X Men because that Wolverine <laughs> colorway blended with like that joke was terrible, man. I'm like, this is, I, it's it's hideous. But he, he's he's catering more to like the younger crowd too, like right. He's, the younger generation are more colorful than yeah. Those definitely look like they should have been preschool runs, like the Paw Patrol yeah. kind of crowd. Yeah, 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 I agree. Exactly. <laughs> Those should yeah, they could have yeah, came with a lot. Nah, but watch what happens. Remember when the Wave Runners came out? Everyone hated them. And then yeah, the, the year, them. Two, them. year or two later, everyone's like, oh, look at that. The heat, the fire. Uh, what the heck? It's gonna, the same thing's going to happen. Same but, yo, there's so many dope orange kicks that are dropping this year mm -hmm. that are on my radar. I'm just trying not to go broke because, you know, I got it's a good got, resolution. I got yeah, bills yeah. to pay and stuff, and that's like well, oh. the good thing is about when you invest in sneakers, you go always resell. It's like it's assets, so yeah, little, but I won't. Get... <laughs> and I just yeah. we'll just sit in the dark for a little bit until my next <laughs> next time I was... this electricity yeah. back on. They're like cars, man. They depreciate right after you take them off the lot. So you put them on your yeah. foot one time, and you cut the value. Yeah, in you got. Nah, there, 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 there's some people out there that just hunting like. How much will you give me for this? Blah blah blah. You can set your own price for it. So it, it depends who's buying too. So speaking of sellouts, Virgil Abloh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what a transition. Or gal. Let's talk. Let's talk about the twenties. Like you know, we all yeah. know. We all know how iconic yeah. the ten was. The first ten was mind blowing, and I'm excited to see what the next 20 looks like but how do you guys feel you know last year was almost like the year of the collab you know i mean virgil's had a crazy run with the tens are you excited for for the 20s how do you feel are you over the 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 off-white uh nikiness how you guys feeling about him i'm i'm digging those uh canary ones mm. those, yeah those are clean man those everything else is like you know i mm. I'll pay. I'll pay. Yeah, I agree with them. Yeah, I agree with them. Yellow shoes, but then for some reason it just switched. I was like, these yellow shoes are not that bad. Not at all, man. <laughs> They're great. I used to. I used to hate anything that was yellow. I was like, oh, I don't like this bright ass color. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I'm like liking yeah. anything that has yellow in it. So it's it definitely gone. tough. Yeah, I mean, I'll be, I'll be honest. I think I've seen a few. I think they dropped that like that weird um, site kind of off of sneakers where they they had everything up in those little like files, and then yeah. you could open up the files and see what they look like. I'm definitely not feeling a lot of like the the runner looking ones where they have the yeah. the little pieces of rubber kind of like yeah, all flaking off the bottom, oh, right. like mm -hmm. the rubber spike deals. Like I don't know, I don't know if I could pull that yeah. off. To be honest, I maybe think I'm those, just too old. Those would have failed to me. I was like, I'm not into those spikes yeah. at all. But I, I think like um like Brian said, the the canary yellow ones and honestly those uh those those off white bread fours, I mean, there's something about those that, that look look pretty enticing to me as well. Yeah. But uh 
I don't know. Did anybody get any of the original, the original 10? I remember that was one of the first Nike uh, sneakers app, like kind of like experiences I had. Look Is at this that. a 10? Is that part of the 10? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the Chucks were or not. I can't remember. The Jordan 4s were a 10? Yeah. Keep them clean, boy. Uh, I wore them maybe for, twice. I don't yeah. for a wife in, in fours. Yeah. I remember I got the Air Max 97s. Mm. Oh, those are nice. The all white ones. They were pretty clean. Like I remember seeing them back then and being like, wow, like, I feel like this was an aesthetic that like was very unique. Not something that was like, yeah. you know, heavy in the sneaker world. But now I almost feel like when I see one of those hang tags, I'm just like, oh, another one of those garbage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't oversize like them you know i, I mean do you i was gonna say do you rock them or are you not not uh, s has his own stuff so. i keep them in the box just because it's on yeah in the way and it's kind of annoying just hitting your shoe all the time mm-hmm. oh you take the tag off yeah i take the tag gently off. not with a pair of yeah. kitchen well, the that- <laughs> so you un virgil them is that, yeah. is that the term okay yeah <laughs> i don't need them I feel like Virgil should call it quits with the off-white Nike collab soon, hmm. honestly. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the, the 20. Like you guys, I like the ones. I like the fours. That's about it. The track-looking shoes, I'm not a fan of at all. But I think that, like, if you want the hype around them to, like, continue, then you quit while you're ahead. Mm-hmm. Because if he keeps going, like you saw, like the bootleg foam posit he's trying to drop, mm, like yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. If he keeps going with it, like eventually right. people are just gonna get sick of it. Like people's attention spans for things is so quick these days that I think you just cut it off now. And then not only that, but it makes even like your suckiest collab, mm-hmm. you know, valuable because people are like they're not making any more of these. Yeah. Like look at like you know, the Air Yeezys. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would kill for a pair of those. Yep. <laughs> your your eyes when you <laughs> said that, like, you see his face? Real. Yeah. Yeah. Real. I got a little nervous. I'm not I'm even scared. in the same room as you, but I'm watching over my shoulder. Like, I already know how we're going to edit that. Them solars? <laughs> yeah. We're going to, like, zoom but in, like, get real I tight shot of his name, eyes. Finish. I just think no matter what he does, <laughs> he's an off-white brand. The name sells itself. So he, he just yeah. like, I come out with that, but people just yeah. buy it. So, but I'm even thinking about like Jerry that's Lorenzo. The, that's the perk he has. Yeah, like, yeah. In a brand like that, so. Yeah, but I was even thinking like Jerry Lorenzo and the whole Fear of God with Nike partnership, and then him now switching over to Adidas. I kind of like that because he gets to put a stamp yes. on like a different brand, do a different thing. I kind of wish kind of Virgil would do a little bit of that as well, or even uh, yeah. some of those collabs would it would be like, hey, we'll hang with you for a year, and then we'll move on and kind of put our touch on something else. I don't know. I think Sean, Sean Witherspoon did that too. He did right, yeah. with Nike and then he did it with another brand. Yeah. yeah you know how greedy Nike is when it comes to like giving people creative control, which is why people go with Adidas because they get more creative control. So I'm excited for the Jerry Lorenzo thing because I think this will be a true testament to like, all right, what is your creative I really like? How are you going to transition from what you did at Nike? Mm. And I think like it'll show whether he's like, a one-hit wonder or if he's you know what i'm saying gonna follow mm. it up with some more heat That's yeah true. what do you think you're shaking your head a lot and often <laughs> i think as a designer man I, virgil needs to stick to clothes uh i think that <laughs> nike probably helped him out a whole bunch with with that collab and i think mm. that's why if you look at his track record he copies off of a lot of things and he does it poorly you know, is he doing it poorly smoke, on purpose you look at the pop smoke album art I think people forgot about that. Um, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. The, the poor design that went into that, um, the the copying off a of foam posit, and yeah, using bad. it in uh, Louis Vuitton, like they don't know any better. Like that, that was why. I can't wait for that Nike cease and desist to go to <laughs> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I think I think it's a wrap. I think that virgil the best thing he has going for him is the you know what i'm saying the 20 and maybe let's say the 30 you know the, the following years after that yeah. so i don't know i'm looking forward to jerry lorenzo though man I, now, I don't know why y'all are so looking forward to jerry lorenzo like we didn't just get a a, a ankle brace of uh, air boot 
Like oh, him? the fear of God. The boots are tough, dog. That, that was terrible. terrible. Are you talking about wait, the wait. fear of God was terrible? What? Terrible? Yes. That that nah. that ankle brace. Stop. It did. It did look like a cast. Come on, man. That thing was terrible. Are you kidding nah. me? I thought it was a hype beast joke that they were just putting it on somebody's broken foot and put a Nike swoosh and said that this was that was a that what you call that innovation in design like that's a prehistoric boot before the air cast existed like that it should be that should be held in the same regard as a Mars Yard overshoe that's the same oh. trash. Don't speak that. Oh no, that's God. actually Jeremy Scott. Nah, <laughs> Jeremy Scott. Yo, you going to, yo, oh Matt, God. talk about those, Matt. ass. Talk about those. Matt. <laughs> Matt, I will fight I'm you. <laughs> I'm just saying, the Jeremy Scott's wasn't, wasn't it for me, so. The Jeremy Scott's was it when it was time for Jeremy Scott's to be <laughs> it, and it was a run. And at least it was, was it really? pushing the boundaries and being creative. Was, I'm talking only, about. It was only pushing. Yeah. The Jerry Lorenzo oh. got his ankle bust twisted, playing basketball so, somewhere, bro. had to wear a cast, and then there we go. Like That's the it. same thing happened with the pump. The Reebok pump was originally a freaking air cast. It was right. made from the bladder yeah. of an air cast. Listen, for those of us with, with ankle problems, we thank you, Jerry, for making that's, a sneaker finally for our door. community. All right? Yes. Right, Splash Uncles? That's right. Oh, my God, you man. No, but me. listen. My, my health care kicks in whenever I try to buy them. That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, they are covered by insurance. I'm just saying. Yo, they should be. Hey, they're, they're great orthotics as well. I'm just saying. Man. Yo, but I think the difference for me is like, they gave Jerry the liberty to create a new silhouette. They've never given Virgil that creative liberty to create his own thing. Sure. He's just done like takes on already established, mostly silhouettes. And those have been the most popular things that he's put out. So for me, even with Jerry going over to Adidas, I feel like Adidas even has to me more of an eclectic uh, line of sneakers where there's just lots of different, like almost canvases or mediums to work with on that side. Whereas Nike, I feel like they have very strict kind of like, I don't know, like legacy silhouettes. They just, they just redo over and over and over again. I mean, when you look at Nike, though, they, they have to have their stamp on everything of anybody that's working with them in collaboration. Like, if Virgil could go somewhere else and do us another creation, like with Adidas or something, but I don't think he would do that. Yeah, Sketch was either going to agree with me or blow up everything I said. I'm not sure. So. Nah, I, I think that they know that Virgil's, you know, what his strength is. Because at, at the same time, like, Lorenzo got the, the chance to create his own uh, silhouette. Um, Virgil, like we already see what he what he what he did at Louis Vuitton. He probably already presented that to the Nike or something close to that, and it was not that good. Yeah. So they're like, you know right. what? Let's let's utilize the the following that you have and and let you play around with some yeah. silhouettes that aren't selling, and um, even go from there. Is it utilize would... utilize or abuse? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. So all those different silhouettes, nobody was buying them like that. Um, and then mm. you put that off-white branding on it and put the twist on it, and now you, you get to up the price, and now they're covered in models. Like, mm. that, Nike knows what they're doing, man. Mm. Like, for real, for real, fours weren't really that popular except for that one colorway, the bread. Mm -hmm. And everything else, those other cross-training shoes and those running shoes, like, nobody was on those. So, like, they, 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 they're making money. They know what they're doing. I'm yeah, nobody bird, nobody man. liked Jordan Ones or Dunk Lows or Vapor Max. <laughs> nobody liked those <laughs> silhouettes. Those were dead. And Vapor Max hurt your feet though. If you, if you want to be <laughs> That's truth. That's truth. It hurt your feet. I don't know what. <laughs> I can't wait till the, 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 the Air Max five ninety comes out and you're literally wearing platforms. You know what I mean? Literally platforms. That's next year. Right? <laughs> man. It's like how how can we pump more air in the heel of this? I like it. It makes me taller, but not for everyone. I'm waiting for this collab for the mids, man. Oh, we're going to talk about mids? On oh, somebody's going to do two episode no. ones? Mids. Somebody is going to collab this is come out with a guys. mid and then <laughs> I am, my change <laughs> the landscape once and for all. Yo, those those like, those I'm glad you all agree with me. Those, Thank those you. Green, those green mids with the, uh, with the pink laces coming out? Are you guys telling me those, those are awful? You don't like them? Those, uh, those green, I don't know if you've seen them. They're like green. They almost look a little bit um, suede -y. And then they got like pink laces. I mean, I think those look fantastic. And that's like a fresh design. 
a fresh colorway yeah. that I've never seen. I mean, it's one thing, but making bread or making royal mids that look just like the real thing. That's but true. But there's another thing they're, when they're, like you let mids kind of be their own thing, which I think is actually pretty, pretty cool. That's true. I'll give you they're that. Coming I'll, out with better colorways for the mids than the high top. So yeah. So I would I will, say that. Yeah, I, I will agree to that. I feel like anything that is like a a mid version of a high when they came out with the union mids, it made me want to vomit a little bit. <laughs> they, should treat mids, <laughs> they should treat mids the way SBs treats dunks. Like they're not the actual dunk. They're an SB version and right, right. SB gets way more wild and creative. and has yeah. way more license and freedom. If they treated the, the mid like that, where it was like, you know, if, if the, if the um, chunky donkey was a mid, if the um, if the 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 Grateful Dead came out as mids, people would still gravitate toward them because of the story, because of whatever. And you're putting it on a literally a dead silhouette. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like there's more legs for creativity there, because no one's touching mids from a collaborative standpoint. You know what? I'm going to say, hot take here, Ooh, 20, uh. 2021. Call for mids. 2021 is the year for mids. Mark my words, we'll circle back around to this beginning of 2022. H- hear me out here. Look at what happened with dunks. You know what I'm saying? You can find dunks on shelves a year and a half ago. I'm just saying... If mids get normalized, they start getting hyped. Now is the time to scoop them price wise. Because I mean, if you're not like, you know, if you're not trying to sell them right now, grab some bands. I would grab band mids. Got a new name for you, Nick. Nick Stradamus. If you're right. Yeah. <laughs> if you're right. Hey, if I, if I call prophecy. this, it's, it's better than prophet. hitting on this. I'll tell you this. If Virgil... <laughs> false prophet. <laughs> I'll tell you this. <laughs> Sketch. Vir- it might be 2022, though. I don't know. That's a good idea. Like, collabs if, to, Vir- yeah. if Virgil tapped into the mid ca- categories, mids would be selling out of here. Bro, mids are so popular for being unpopular. <laughs> then I no, no then you know I feel it's, like it's an age like thing. a meme almost. No, it's an age thing. I'm telling you, like Nick, I feel like you're right on the cusp, like right on the cutoff. I feel like people that are like a bit older, like traditionally, were like mids are trash. The younger yeah. generation, they're buying mids like crazy. I see yeah. some of these young guys that all they wear is mids, and they love them. They they have no like you know idea that there is something different between a mid. Yeah, and because they don't got the clothes. older yeah. people to tell them. They don't no. have, they don't know any better. That's like the kids with the pants that sag, but they still wearing a belt. It's like, you do know that the belt is to hold your Gucci, pants bro. up, right? Yes. Like, it's Gucci. Yes, they have no boy. teachings. They got no home training whatsoever. You learn a mid and enjoying it. That is a now punishment. See the belt. I buy my kids the belt. mid. You get mid grades, get mid. You get a C. Guess what you get? Rock these plastic mids. Oh my yeah, but God. what if I try my best? All right, I'm just saying. You know, if that well, was I'd be getting sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Not you even a whole sneak. Easy Crocs. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. Wait, oh, can man. I make one more prediction? If we're making predictions, let's do it. Yeah. This is uh, the let's prediction. Make, let's make some make some predictions here. Sneaker hot my takes. prediction by the end of 2021. There will be pre-orders for hype sneakers so that everybody can get a pair. Yeah, I hope you're right. I'm that would be amazing. Head, I feel like we're moving that in that direction. I feel like we're moving need. in that direction. What 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 evidence do you see of us moving in that direction? Just curious, not <laughs> contradicting. I mean, it's all anecdotal, but literally, I feel like the the community has been like shouting for this for a long time. Mm. I see other places, other smaller sneaker communities now that are actually creating their own takes on certain silhouettes where they're taking pre-orders and people are literally just jumping on those things i mean if nike could make as much money as possible right why why are they letting StockX and why are they letting goat and all those other places make all the money when they could take the pre-orders and literally sell more inventory than they could i know it knocks some of that stuff so maybe it's not for everything but mm-hmm. if you if you at least put i don't know maybe 10 to 12 pairs up a year where you could pre-order them like i think that's that's worth a try mm-hmm. i was wondering that too like why are they letting StockX and other, you know, third-party sneaker brands 
and they sell their sneaker when they could be, still be selling their own sneaker and make it more profit. Josh, why? Why, Josh? <laughs> why? I'll tell you why, Efren. <laughs> because, because when Nike rolls over in bed at night, he's staring straight at StockX. <laughs> and right. it rolls around the other side. Oh, oh he's go. together. Oh. He looks down at the bottom of the bed and, yep, eBay crawled in. Are so, you saying that they're a triple? Is that what's going on here? Hey, I'm yeah. not saying anything. I'm are just you saying, saying something's, are you saying something's going a lot on. Of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things in that bed. Yeah. And eBay yeah, like, and goat. Sister, sister wow. wives. They're sister wives from Nike. Wow. I wouldn't wow. be surprised if Nike tried to overcome StockX and eBay by making – their own stock eBay. <laughs> we need to eBay. overcome eBay. No, they're not worried about eBay right now. Precious so, moments. I mean, not overcome oh, it, but like the precious how moments. They resell on, how they resell on StockX. Like if Nike basically made that. Yeah. Ooh, made especially if they do that no, with like StubHub and all those places, they were they were they saw they that their tickets. They tried to do that right. too. I could see that. Well, because think about it. if if Nike authenticated them as well, like you're like a hundred percent guaranteed that you're getting right. a legit pair. Exactly. You're not yeah. just you know some twelve year old kid in his basement who they send pictures to, and then eBay's like, is it good? Is it legit? Yeah. Legit, okay. bro. Put the tag on. All right. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like there'd be a lot more credibility mm. if the the producers of the sneakers were the ones authenticating them as well. Mm. Gosh, I Brian, like what's your listening in? Brian, what's your prediction? Twenty twenty one. Uh, I don't know, man. I keep thinking about what Vanessa Bryant said about what they're trying to do for Kobe shoes. Right. So that that could be that could be a hint to what Josh was saying. Was what right. did she say? She said she wants to try to find a way. Like she's been talking to Nike to try to find a way to make sure that everybody who actually wants the shoes and appreciates Kobe can have a pair for themselves. Um, and so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. That was after the Grinch drop. Yeah, none of the fans got him. No. Nope. Yeah, because it was uh, the Grinch. I don't know why I didn't get that hidden hidden <laughs> moment Easter egg. Like, bro, it's the Grinch. The Grinch stole Christmas. You think you're gonna put all your stock in this? What are we do? Are we doing this right now? <laughs> yeah, man. But no, nah, man. And, and on top, of, like everything y'all were saying, it made me think because I, I actually bought a pair of fours for my wife that ended up being too small, and then. Uh, Somebody was going to buy them on eBay, but then told me they were fake. They were like, sorry, I'm not going to buy them because uh, they're fake. I'm like, I'm like, what are you t-? Like, I bought them from Nike. Like, how are you going to tell me that they're fake? So yeah. that, that back and forth of people not knowing what's real from fake is really. And they'll cancel you right away on eBay, too, yeah. even if it's wrong. Because my, my right. wife tried to sell a purse, and um, it, I think it was Michael Kors, and then someone flagged her. And it was it was legit, but... Mm. You know, she didn't have the receipt or anything, so automatically they flagged her. And once they did that, she couldn't log in anymore. They locked her of her account. She tried calling them. It was all moot. They wouldn't let her have access to her account, so she had to start. Oh, her. And sometimes wow. when that happens, it's probably other sellers reporting you. Of course. Yeah. It, it was Mr. Michael Thanks. Kors. So- <laughs> Matt, you said that Matt, you said that too fast. Like you were one of those sellers that will no, report. No, I know people. You flagged my wife. Who, <laughs> nah, I, nah, I know people who've gone through it. Like when they post something, it's all the sellers that's selling yeah. the same thing that's trying to make that profit. Yeah, that's report wack. your page. Dang. So they can be that's one great. of those top people nope. to get it. So. That's dirty. That's yeah. dirty. It's, 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 it's a like YouTube's business, uh, so. copyright strike. <laughs> YouTube's copyright strike system is the same thing. It's like once you get a strike, it doesn't matter. You can't contest it. You lose. That's it. Yep. That's all. So EB is the same way. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Especially when you got guys on eBay trying to sell mids and call them highs. That's bad. Yeah. And they're Ooh. the ones that are selling their Oh, my God. Can we draw a distinction between like, like the resellers we hate and the resellers we don't hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we've all right. resold a pair of sneakers here. Like, is there yeah. a reseller we don't like that we like? Well, have you never resold a pair of your sneakers before? Never. Yeah, yeah, but like, so, like not, not I wasn't so trying to crack like, somebody over the head. Like, no, I know. It was just I mean, like, oh, I don't really like these. I want to let them go. Like wait. those uh, Ninja Turtle feet uh, uh, Yeezys <laughs> that I bought. Those were freaking huge. I'm like, I'm not. Yeah. I can never wear these. But there's someone with a 12 foot who doesn't mind looking like you know little foot from the dinosaurs. <laughs> don't let them rock. I didn't crack them over the head. I don't think I even made a profit. I just wanted my money yeah. back. Well, I think you just answered your question. You wanted your money back, so you were basically selling them back off for retail or maybe right. whatever retail plus shipped was. 
There's a lot right. of people that don't have that mentality. And right. especially like we've had this conversation millions of times about now bots and, and the resale game. The, the market is like, how can we get as many as possible so we can drive the price up? Right. So they're unattainable for most people. That's the, that's the people that I yeah. have an issue with. Like growing yes. up, I know a lot of guys who like, they would get a pair and they'd get another pair. They'd sell the pair to make some back. Like that's not, that's not an issue to me. What's happened is like this mass kind of production of or almost like industry of sneaker reselling, yeah. which I think has turned into an uglier, more oh, like a, yeah. more and of an like, hand in, in what this culture should be. And I think right. a lot of people are pushing back against it. I just don't know what the, what the end game is for that. Mm. That's a problem. Oh, and then it drives up it drives up the price of used sneakers. You look at a few of these sites now that sell the used guys as well. Yeah. And you're like actually like, ah, three hundred for uh, the, the two thousand twelve uh, you know, Jordan four white cement. Yeah. You guys you know, ever like, buy used... like that's not a that's not a bad price. You guys ever buy used sneakers that's right. beat the hell. You know what I mean? Like, hey, yo, I could touch these up for two forty. I could touch yeah. them up. Do you guys ever buy used sneakers? Absolutely. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I like browsing through some of the use, like the photos and like looking at the dirty insoles and being like, oh, oh I swap out the insole. Yeah. Only sure. worn one. Yeah, you got to. Is what it says in the gently, gently used. And that I'm size like, sticker gen- that's in there. What gentle oh, activity are you doing gentle. that you're gently used? <laughs> <laughs> you walked on carpet. <laughs> like, how do you gently use yeah. it? Worn and once. And you're like, <laughs> where did you wear that one time? <laughs> right. The sticker, Bonner, that's in, the sticker that's in the insole, that square sticker, is like faded into the insole. It's like a oh, part yeah, of it yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, your yeah, stomach I, turns. I they show like the <laughs> left side, the right side is all clean, and then you get that bottom view, and then your heart drops because oh, it's grimy. Like, oh. Yeah. I'm a victim of that, though. I always forget to take them out. I just wear them inside. So, With the so. sticker? Yeah. I leave them in. Yeah, take I, them leave, I don't really take them out. I just look at them. Like, I can't I take them out. out for the life of me. Mm. I have the hardest time taking them out. Yeah, after you wear it a couple of times, my hand yeah, like it cramps up. Like it looks like this after I try to take <laughs> a sticker out. It's not worth it. You got to tape oh, them man. too. You got to put the tape over the uh, <laughs> insoles, otherwise, like the Yeezy rubs off. Anything on that? Oh, you you put tapes on your tape inside of it? You should if you don't want that to rub off. I don't do I it to didn't, mine. Think of that. It's a genius move, man. What else do you piece, slow piece. You slow must be there. trying to resell them. Oh, right, anyway. right, right. That's what I, <laughs> <laughs> that was I know we didn't like them. Um, tape on the inside no. and then tape right. all around the outsole. Just right. Like, no, no. It's so when and your boys come over. wear like, them on the carpet. No, your boys come over like, they're fixed. They don't say Yeezy on the insole. I'm like, they wore off, man. <laughs> you got to draw it back in with a white marker. <laughs> oh, man. All right, this has been fun. I've had a good, I think this is a good start to the year. The gang's all back together for the first pod. Um, but before we go, we got to acknowledge the fact that uh, this episode was recorded um, on the first anniversary of Kobe and his daughter Gia passing. So we have to acknowledge, you know, um, this moment that rocked our whole world last year and continues to be, you know, an unbelievable reality that we kind of face and we live in. But um, we've always given Kobe his flowers on this pod. Like, we all have acknowledged his greatness and have all appreciated his legacy. But um, today, let's try to remember him for the Mamba mentality he had and he uh, also used and approached to fatherhood. Um, I think that, you know, if there is a silver lining to, you know, his passing is the, the, the huge spotlight that it put on his relationship with his kids and, you know, who he was as a man and as a husband, but, you know, we're dads, man. And, you know, we know what it's like to be super focused on our craft and our task and our jobs and our career and in that mode of, you know, provider. But, you know, Kobe personified, you know, that mindset when it came to his parenthood and you can see it in his kids. And so, you know, in true dad's got kicks fashion, we got to acknowledge, you know, Kobe being Brian as not only one of the goats in the NBA, but in, as a goat in fatherhood as well. So right. we just want to give, you know, our love to his, his memory, to his daughter's memory, to his family's memory and legacy. And, um, 
Yeah, we just want to end on that note. As always, thanks for tuning in to the Dad's Got Kicks podcast. Check us out on our IG where we just pretty much roast each other in the comments and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, but definitely uh, check us out on uh, YouTube as well. If this is your first time discovering the pod, I hope you enjoyed it. If you got to this point, you did. So subscribe, rate it, share it, and, you know, do all of those things. And that's it. See you in a couple of weeks. Peace. Peace. Peace.